Welcome back, Lexophiles, to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the definitions, history, and context of the words we use every day. Definition. Hypocrisy. Noun. Espousing a belief or promoting a practice that one does not believe in or practice. History and etymology. Hypocrite is derived from a compound Greek word, hypokritais, formed from hupo, meaning under, and kritiki, meaning to judge or critique. This word was commonly used to refer to stage actors, meaning performers under a mask. Its use in the New Testament and the Bible to refer to two-faced people or pretenders cemented the negative connotation it currently has. In Latin, it became hypocrisis, meaning roughly the same thing we mean today when we say hypocrite. But it could also be used to imply imitation, impersonation, copying speech or gestures of a person. And as vulgar Latin transformed into French, it became hypocrisy, where its meaning solidified into the one we use today. And from French, the word hypocrisy joined English. Prescription. The image of an actor wearing a mask perfectly illustrates what hypocrisy is. Someone who is hiding their true self beneath a facade of words. Sometimes you hear the word hypocrisy tossed around a lot, and it really can be tossed at anyone accurately, and it will usually go ignored by people that it is thrown at. And a lot of the times I've seen the word hypocrisy used in arguments, it's used to shut down the conversation and avoid addressing any issues that are actually involved in what's being talked about. I know in a lot of my conversations, particularly about politics, I've been accused of being a hypocrite for using the roads that the taxes pay for when I'm arguing that taxation is an immoral institution. And to some extent, it's the truth. I use these services that are paid for by taxes. What other choice do I have when they're provided by a monopoly? Hypocrisy isn't an accusation that should be used to end arguments or to try and win the argument because you're not addressing actual issues involved. Where hypocrisy becomes something important is when you're discussing the character of somebody that's going to be important. A politician, a spouse, a business partner, friends. That's where hypocrisy really matters. You want to be able to trust the people around you. You want to be able to trust the people closest to you. And when they say one thing and do another, it's important that you call them out on it in those circumstances when it's affecting your life, not when you're just trying to score points in some kind of political conversation. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this exploration and a bit of a ramble about the word hypocrisy. If you enjoy this content, exploring the English language one word at a time, subscribe to the channel. I think you'll enjoy what you see. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you'd like to help support my project of creating a video dictionary, there's links in the description with how you can help through Patreon, Amazon Affiliate, PayPal, and Bitcoin. Also, this isn't something I've plugged before, but I'd like to do it here. You can also follow me on Facebook where I upload the entire videos, on BitChute as well, and on Minds.com. All those links are in the description. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.